the first reading of today saint paul talks about his call he says god called me the least of all his people god called me the least of all his people and that's what i want to base my reflection on today the melrose suspension bridge on the niagara falls links the united states to canada the bridge was reportedly built in 1848 by engineer Theodore Eliot in this following fashion first a kite with a thread attached to it was flown across the niagara river next the cord was attached to the thread and pulled across then a rope was attached to the cord and finally a cable was attached to the rope the larger cables and the rest of the bridge were moved into place from the cables had st paul lived in our modern times he might have used this story to make the point he stressed in today's reading he the least of all god's people was that tiny fragile thread by which god began the conversion of the gentile world i am only a spark make me a fire I am only a string, make me a liar, said poet Amado Nervo. Imagine living in a country now where a deadly plague and civil wars have decimated the population and continued for years, threatening all those who live there. Also picture the confusion of a church in which two and sometimes three men claimed to be the Pope. lastly consider having responsibility for a religious order bitterly divided into opposing camps and these troubled circumstances provide a backdrop for the life of saint john of capistrano whose feast we celebrate today john studied law in at perugia perugia italy where he married the daughter of a leading citizen and in 1412 he became the governor of that city four years later he found himself in jail as in jail as a political prisoner and there he experienced a conversion and decided to become a religious somehow he got his wife to pull the strings to release him from the prison he paraded through perugia sitting backwards on a donkey and wearing a paper hat listing all his sins and having humiliated himself in this bizarre repentance he applied to the franciscan order of the strict observance and they accepted him <coughs> immediately the order put john on the fast track ordained in 1420 with his remarkable gift for speaking he revived the hope of thousands whose faith had eroded in the chaotic 14th and 15th century he preached repentance to the laity and the clergy alike especially the clergy of the franciscan order it is said that after listening to one of his preaching thousand men wanted to join the franciscan order on the same day the story of saint paul the melrose suspension bridge building and the life of john of capistrano highlight how god often uses the most unlikely and humble means to achieve his grand purpose paul considered himself the least of all god's people became that fragile thread through which conversion of the gentiles began in the same way saint john of capistrano once a political prisoner and filled with remorse for his past allowed to be transformed by god into a powerful preacher rekindling faith amidst chaos and these remind us that god does not require us to be perfect or prominent to fulfill his mission he only needs our willingness to be used by him do we believe that god can use us no matter how small or insignificant we may feel to bring light to others like the thread of the bridge or the flame of a spark or the strings of a lyre god can build something great through us 
if we offer ourselves to him. St. John of Capistrano, pray for us. <laughs>